Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a vlog style of me going from the passion twist that I had back to my natural hair. The reason why I look like this already is because we already got started and I realized that I didn't do an intro for this video. So me and my dad are taking down my twist right now. It's gonna mostly be like a voiceover, I believe. But anyway, let's get started. So the way that I started it out was I went ahead and cut off most of the ends of the passion twist so that it was easier for us to take them down. I ended up having to go back in to cut a lot of them more because my dad was complaining. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying they were too long and it was too difficult so I ended up cutting them a bit more in other areas and I don't really know but I hope that I didn't cut any of my hair because I realized I was being very lax with it but anyway um, we just took them down it didn't take long it took about 30 minutes um, maybe 45 at the most to take down my entire head so it went by really quick so this is what my hair looked like after we were completely done uh, it's very dirty <laughs> but I decided to wait till the next morning to wash and condition my hair so I started with the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream sulfate free shampoo and then I went in with the Diva Curl One Condition Decadent and this is how my hair looked afterwards now I normally don't use combs or anything to detangle my hair I normally just use my fingers but after having those passion twists in for two months I definitely needed to make sure that I detangle so I'm using this comb that I got from Target I'll leave the name of it down below and then I'm going in with the Pantene Gold Series Curl Defining Pudding. And then I went in with their Intense Hydrating Oil. And I used both of those as my styling products. And now these two are actually some of my favorite products when I do twist outs. But this time, I don't know if I didn't do it right, but I got flakes pretty much all over my head. I think I might have used too much of maybe the curling pudding, but I'm not sure. So uh, the reason why I'm saying that to make sure that you guys use a little amount, but make sure you coat each section. So yeah, I'm just applying that to my entire head in each individual section. I did really small twists this time because it was my first time seeing my hair in about two months and I wanted to make sure that I really got like a fun, defined, spunky look. So went with really small sections and it took a while I think it took maybe about three hours of me doing my entire head but I was also watching tv so that's kind of that's that that did something too one thing that was super important for these twists is that I made sure that once I got to the ends that I twirled them around my finger in order to create like a little little ringlet curl and it just really helped define the ends of each twist out i was really happy then because i was i got done with my hair so the last thing that i did which is the key part in this is i've started to use hairspray that's alcohol free and i just use this pantene one and that just helps my twist outs last a whole lot longer than what they would normally do i let it air dry overnight and then now i'm using the intense hydrating oil the same oil that i used for my styling products i'm just using that coating that on my fingers so that i cut down on the frizz when I'm taking down my twists and I'm kind of turning them around so that I make sure that I keep all the definition before I start to pull the twist apart. I hope that makes sense. It's just me spinning the twist until there's an opening and then I start undoing it very gently. Even though I'm speeding it up now, I'm doing this gently. <laughs> <laughs> so when you first take down the twist it can look a bit scary you're like where is the big fluffy fro it takes a little time you have to undo the twist first which is what I'm showing you guys I'm done with that side of my head and it kind of looks very similar to the other side and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start separating those twists each individual section that I've taken apart that is now two sections I'm going to separate those even further so that's going to create the big fro that you guys see that I do I will do that all over my head and once I've separated them to my liking I will also go in with a pick which I forgot to show you guys in this video but I also use a pick to judge up the roots sometimes I'll tease a bit of sections if it keeps falling down you know just kind of working with your hair to see what your hair wants you to do with it and all that this is the final look it was so spunky so cute and it had a lot of definition I really love those products I just used a little bit too much so I did end up getting flakes thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you subscribe and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys